So now folks, a little update on progress on the stripping of the reed organ case. You can see here many of the panels which have been stripped and are in various stages of being sanded. They've all been sanded with 180 uh, grit sandpaper. So the walnut is quite beautiful. As you can see here the, the top of the case has been stripped and part of it has been sanded at least with the 180 grit sandpaper. You can see the wood and the top part has not been sanded yet. So it's quite rough. And that's the next part of the tedious sanding process. These are really rather awkward to sand but just take some time. only the, the first sanding that we'll do on all of the woodwork and come back and I'll do everything again with a finer grit sandpaper um, which will even even smoother finish for us and I'll show you that later. Now there's some life left in a bit of this paper here so we'll use the block to do this flat part. best as well to use a dust mask in this process because the sand, the sanding dust from this walnut is very fine. Now, in order to get in along this little flat groove here, I'm going to use a small block of wood, put it into the sandpaper, get it right into that groove, it makes it much easier. that sanding block so just smooth those out you don't have any marks and of course insofar as you can you're going with the grain of the wood you don't leave scratch marks from the sandpaper across the grain so that's why I'm just and I caught this part of the grain with that block so I want to Okay, so that's that little piece done there. Now, I'll continue with the rest, so when that's finished, I'll let you see it. So the whole case and all of the panels have now been sanded down with 180 grit sandpaper and then uh, another rub down with 320 grit sandpaper, so they're all very nice and smooth. I'm going to apply um, some American walnut wood dye uh, just to darken down the wood a little bit. It's a matter of personal preference I guess as to what way you want your wood to look. So I'm going to start applying that now. Okay so I'm going to use a brush to apply the, the wood stain. This is a stain, it's not a finish. It's just to give the wood some colour. So dip some, uh, dip the brush in some of the wood dye and just start brushing it on. Use the brush particularly to get it into the carving. We're just spreading it out all over. I'm not going to leave it on too long because I'm not looking for a very dark colour on the wood just to give it a little bit of help. So I'll put it on not leave it very long and then wipe the excess off with a clean white cotton cloth. So I want to make sure to get it into all of those parts of the carving. As you can see I'm not leaving it very long, I don't want it to darken it too much. I will take this cloth and simply wipe over the panel 
You can apply it with a cloth as well. So that just gives it a little bit of a darker colour. And that's it. I'd leave that to dry overnight and it'll be ready for French polishing. And I'll continue now with the others.